Hello friends, I'm Kathy Rhodes with Unity Consulting, where we grow people and develop leaders. Leadership is influence. Nothing more, nothing less. My mentor John Maxwell says that all the time. Leadership is influence. Don't forget how important you are during this quarantine. How would your team members define their leader? How would they define you? I've been talking to a lot of people the past few weeks who have been restationed. <laughs> their office might now be at home or their office is different within the office. It's further apart from their coworkers. And a common thing that I'm hearing from the, from the people that I'm talking to is how rare it is that they hear from their leader. Employees are feeling very uninformed and forgotten. So, are you a leader? Are you a leader of an organization? Are you a leader of a department? Let your leadership shine during this time of adversity. If you're a leader of an organization, your people, your entire company needs to hear from you at least once a week. Send out an email or better yet, create a video and tell them what, what are you doing? What are you thinking? What do you know? What do you don't know? What are you feeling? Connect with your organization, keep them in the loop. And then you also need to connect on a daily basis with your direct reports. And those probably are other leaders of your company, right? Every day, connect with them through a video conferencing program so that they can feel you, they can feel and see you and have a better connection. Give them that opportunity to really connect with you and encourage them to be doing the same with their team members. So if you're a leader of a department, leader of a project, have two different types of connections every single day with your team. In the morning, do some kind of morning meeting with some video connection so again you can see each other. And then throughout the day, connect individually with every team member. Maybe it's through chat or text or email. Create that connection. When you think about being an employee, when you think about the challenges that, that come up during the day, you know, an employee doesn't have the, the ownership, I guess, or even the permission of, like you do as a leader. They need your time, but your employees are not going to interrupt you. They know that your day is full. They know you're busy. So when you create these meetings with them, when you create these opportunities for them to connect with you, you're giving them permission to also get their questions asked and answered. You're giving them permission to use that time. I mean, the time doesn't have to be all business. Small chat is really important too. Create conversations, just like as if you were in the office and you were to walk by and say, hi, good morning, with a smile on your face, that's gonna change the direction of somebody's day than if you walked by and said nothing. Or if you walked by and said, eh, good morning, <laughs> right? So, so create those environments, create those opportunities to lift everybody's spirits a little bit. At least convince them that, you know what? You're not in trouble today, nobody's mad at you, we're all good, let's have a great day. Create those moments and those opportunities with your team members. Within the conversations that you have, also make sure that you're just asking them about them. How are they doing? How are they getting by? Are they homeschooling too? What does their schedule look like? And what can you do to help them? You know, sometimes I just want to know that somebody cares about me and not just the business. People is what's going to make your organization great. People your people, your teams is what's going to strengthen your company. Remember that they also need you. Be great with them. <laughs>